We're in the middle of the build on the 4-inch eBay kit and at the last time we had glued the bulkhead here to this lead and while the glue is drying uh, we can go ahead and glue the switch band onto the coupler. Um, so what you need to do first is to mark it and you want to mark it um, three and a half inches from either end because that's where the switch band is going to go and then you'll have equal amount on both sides. Now the switch band, um, this is going to be kind of hard to get on so again as before just smash down the fibers of the paper with your thumbnail and that will help you Okay, let's see what happens here is I'm kind of tearing up the edge there. What you can do if it's, it's really tight, because it, um, it's so short, it's, it's very hard to get on straight. So what I'm doing is finding the seam on the inside, and I'm going to peel up one layer of paper from the inside. So I started it there, you can see it's coming up, Oop, it kind of tore. You don't want to tear up too much. That will be a lot easier to get on. Oops, do the other end. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so it is kind of tight. Um, so we're going to put the glue here. And we're going to slide it right in. Right there, like that. And I'm going to wipe off any excess glue. So when we put this in our rocket, I want a nice tight joint there. This just looks prettier. Okay, so that's the switch band. Um, our next step is, so the glue is dried on this, is to put in the eye bolts. Um, so you're going to need an eye bolt, two washers, and two nuts. Okay, so the eye bolt, you'll put one washer on there, put it through, put another washer on the other side, put one nut on. And I like to have the eye bolt parallel with the slot. So then we're going to take a wrench and just crank down on that. It wants to spin on me. Okay, and we're going to put the other nut on there. This is going to lock that nut in place so that it can't come undone on us. It's kind of a flight critical item. If the, if the bolts come undone, your rock is going to separate or the nuts come undone. But with two of them on there, it pretty much guarantees it's not going to move. Okay, so that's one of them. And I've already done the other side right here. Uh, we're getting really close to being done. Um, the next thing I want to do is have one more bolt and a washer. So I'm going to put this on the end where the bulkhead is already at. This is going to lock that one down, or keep it from sliding that way, like that. Um, now these little notches right here, they engage these slots, and it would be like that, and they kind of help guide it on. It makes it a little easier to put your bulkhead on. But what I want to do is round off the, the edges here. And that just makes it a little bit easier to, to get it started.
like that. See, usually I, I have the bolt out furthest, and it will go into the hole first, and then I can find the slots, and then everything's lined up. And it prevents this from spinning. So when you put it into your, your tube, you'll slide it in like that, and then you just hold this end with your finger. Again, find the, the threaded rod first, and then find the slots, and it just lines right up. And then to finish it out, you'll put the washer on and then the final wing nut. Like that. And if you um, need to rotate your sled around, say you had a hole in here to put a switch, you can grab these little tabs and you can rotate it around so you can find, you can line it up with every hole or your vent hole. Um, that's the pr method that I like to use. I can just put a, um, a screwdriver in there and just depress the switch to turn it on. Some people have the um, quarter turn switches. Those work as well. So that is the construction of the Apogee eBay. Um, in a future video I'll show you how to mount the electronics in it. Uh, but for now, your eBay is ready for your electronics. My name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.